Okay, so now that we have made our site, we've made our Photoshop site, what we want to do is we want to upload it to the internet. We want to put it onto our remote service. To do that, what I've done is I've, in my web, web design folder, this guy here, I have put in my STE file. So I have downloaded my STE file and I've put it into my root folder. So this web design folder is my root folder which contains all of the stuff that makes up this website. Okay. Now this STE file being in here is just going to make my life easier. It doesn't have to be in here technically, but I would recommend you put it in your root folder, then you don't lose it, you know where it is, um, and you can just keep using it to connect to your remote server whenever you need to upload to your um, website, whenever you need to make changes to your website or do anything like that. So what I'm going to do, come into Dreamweaver, I'm going to show you how to use this file, this STE file, to connect to your remote server. Now if you see over here, I have in my files panel my site folder already selected and you can see the ST file in there. Now it doesn't do anything from over here what we actually have to do is we actually technically have to set up our site again. What we're going to do is we're going to go to site in the top menu, the drop down menu and this time rather than going to new site which is what we usually do when we were creating a new site, we go to manage sites and if you see this window here, this window that pops up you can see in it at the moment it's got a list of all of the sites that I've made. Now at the moment the only site I've got on here is my Photoshop example site which is this one here that's open. Now what I want to do is I could go and edit this, I could do a number of different things in here, we don't need to worry about that too much. I can make a new site here if I want to. What we want to do is we want to import the site. Now the STE file is the, the site file. So if I go to import site now it's automatically put me into this web design folder because it's the last folder I used. All you need to do is you need to make sure you go and find the folder and go inside there. There's your STE file. Double click on that and that is what's going to load. Now what it's asking you here in this second pop-up box is where is the root folder. Again the root folder for mine is the web design folder. So if it doesn't show you your web design folder, go and find it load it up and select it. Same way you'd set a root folder if you're creating a new site but what you've done here is you've created a site with a bunch of information. So there's a bunch of information here that allows this to connect to the remote server. These two things are actually the same but we will now want to use this one called media 27. Mine is media 27, yours will be media whatever yours is or whatever name your SDE file happens to have. Click done and that's it. Now if I open up my files panel here, I can see all of my files are in here, still all my images in that folder, I've still got my resources, and I've got my index page and my ST file. I don't need to do anything with any of these. I don't need to open any of them immediately. I can if I want to, but I don't need to. Now, this is now able to connect to the remote server. It's able to connect us to the internet. It doesn't, however, do that automatically. What you need to do is you need to click on this icon here, and that will connect you to your remote server. You see now it's got this little tick next to it, and the wires are connected. That is connected to our remote server. That's it. That is the connection. I've connected to the internet. It's telling me I have, and it knows it's working because it's got a little tick. Now, that doesn't mean that this is automatically uploaded everything to the internet. It doesn't do it automatically. We have to tell it to. The easiest way to do that is to use one of these icons across the top here. But before we use one of these icons, so you can put files to the remote server, yeah? That little arrow there, the up arrow, will allow you to do that. However, what I want to do is I want to open this window in a slightly larger mode. So I come all the way to the right expand to show the local and remote sites. What that will do when I click on it, is it will give me this big window here. Everything on the left over here, okay, is the stuff that's already on my remote server. This is the stuff that is already there and already on the internet. What I've got over here is all the stuff that's on my local files, locally on my individual computer. And for me to 
take this stuff and put it onto the remote server all I have to do is select the files I want to upload or select the whole folder to upload and then use the up arrow to put the files now it's worth noting that with this resources folder which has our original Supergirl image in and our wireframe Photoshop document we don't need those on the remote server they're just going to take up space so if I right click on those come down in this drop down list to cloaking and then click cloak what I'll do is it'll put this red line through so I click away for a second so there's a red line through that folder now that means that this file is hidden or cloaked from the remote server meaning when I upload all my files it's not going to upload my resources folder with all those very large images in it that then leads me to have these images which are actually part of the website going up yeah the important ones that are actually featured on the web page the actual web page itself index.html remember that that is the home page that is always your first page of your website should be called index.html with a lowercase i what I'm going to do now I've got all of those done like that I could technically cloak my STE file as well I probably don't need that up there so if I go to cloaking and then cloak that as well that won't go up as well now I can upload everything just by using the put function there now you see it's put that folder because that's the folder I had selected click on index upload that as well it's going to ask me if I want to replace the file and should it also import any images that are uh, required for that website to run so the dream was was saying well this index page has images on it I need to make sure that those images are uploaded as well if I click yes it'll upload everything that's required now everything over on the remote server is the same as everything over on my local drive which means that it's up on the internet for viewing I'm going to close this window out again and that's it that's everything done it's uploaded to the remote server so all you need to do is go to site manage sites import your site using your STE file once you've done that connect to the remote server with this icon here disconnect if you click it again connect and there'll be a little tick then expand that out and upload your files using the upload button the put files that's it simple as that really really easy the only thing we need to know now is well where are those files